Hey there, movie fans. Welcome to the Blues of July 2018. First of all, I'd like to give a big thanks and shout out to Kyle Shackrat65 for helping me out getting the limited edition Blu ray set of Extro. Now, I haven't seen this movie for decades. You know, it's one of those movies that uh, I last saw in a time when VSS was a very popular format. And um, I was curious to find out if the movie is as fun as I remember. And the answer is yes and no. It's, um, it's a very bizarre, uh, screwed up sci-fi horror film. And uh, it also comes with a soundtrack, as you can see there. But um, it's, it's also boring at times, to me anyway. So it's mediocre at best, but nonetheless, you know this this is a wonderful release with a nice booklet and all. Yeah, love the uh, the original cover. Um, now there, there are four different versions on this uh, on the set. Let me take the J card out. Four different versions. Uh, you have the um, original version, which is the one I revisited after all these years. There is one with an alternate ending, um, which is the ending I like the most. Uh, you have the UK video version and the 2018 uh, director's cut, where the director has uh, changed the color of the movie. Now, I haven't seen this version, only some bits and pieces and... Um, I don't like the look of it. It's it's definitely not an improvement uh, to the original one, uh, if you ask me. So the um, director's cut is the one I would easily skip if I want to see the movie again. Here's another movie I haven't seen for decades, A Breed Apart. And this is a really good film. Uh, I enjoyed it more than I remember. And I think it's a, it's a, an overlooked jam. Uh, Rodger Hauer plays um, an eccentric Vietnam veteran who lives in the woods. You know, he's a protector of animals and of nature. And then um, Powers Boots comes along. Uh, he plays a, a mountain climber who has been hired by a wealthy collector, played by Donald Pleasance to steal the eggs of a rare eagle, which is exactly what Howard is trying to protect. And at the same time, there is, there are these rednecks hunters who has a score to settle uh, with Howard. And if that isn't enough, there's a little uh, love triangle going on between Howard, Powers Boot and Kathleen Turner. So it's, it's far from a boring movie, I can tell you that. But um, I'm very happy that Shout Factory has released it on blue. Now, transfer looks beautiful. It's uh, it, it's very thin on uh, on extras. Uh, there's only a trailer and an interview with the director Philippe Mora. But um, you know, it's it's the movie that counts. Now here is a gorgeous looking Blu-ray set from Germany, the uh, Euro Crime Collection, with. Three Italian crime films, or uh, Poliziotteschi films from the 1970s. Uh, this is Fear in the City, Double Game uh, with uh, George Hilton. This one is with uh, Maurizio Merli. And this is also with uh, Maurizio Merli, Convoy Busters. And it also has the documentary uh, Eurocrime, which is about the history of the uh, Poliziotteschi genre. And all these films has English audio, uh, but not English subtitles, unfortunately. I prefer watching these movies in their, you know, in their original Italian language. And um, I do know some Italian, but definitely not enough to watch them without subtitles. So it's, it's a shame it doesn't have English subtitles, but, you know, I cannot complain about that. I mean, this is... An absolute gorgeous release. You show it what the uh, what it looks like. There's the uh, the artwork of Convoy Busters, 
double game. Uh, Fear in the City right there. And this is from um, you know the documentary. And here are the Blu-rays. Very, very beautiful set, this one. And I can't wait to check these films out. Uh, picked up this uh, uh, very nice Blu-ray set from Arrow of The Endless by um, Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead. Um, you know, I, th I thought it was okay. It's, um, I know some people say it's absolutely fantastic, but to me it's just decent. Nothing more, nothing less. It has some interesting moments and interesting ideas, but it didn't really appeal that much to me. I guess it has to grow on me. And um, you know, th this Blu-ray set also contains their first movie, Resolution, which I haven't seen yet, but I should have seen it. In fact, I should have seen it before The Endless, because The Endless is a sort of sequel to Resolution. And I found out about it after I watched The Endless, so, you know, I should have done my homework. But I think it's, it's not that big of a deal, really. But, um, yeah, it's a beautiful release, though, by, uh, by Arrow. Looks very nice. And speaking of Arrow, I got seven titles from their summer sale, and they're all blind buys. And I haven't seen them yet, so I'm sorry I cannot tell you more about them. But um, anyway, first one is Images by Robert Altman. This is a psychological thriller in the same vein as Repulsion and The Tenant. Um, I heard Susanna York gives a powerhouse performance in this one. Uh, next one is Ari Joyce Clouseau's Inferno. I've always wanted to check this uh, check this one out uh, you know, from the moment I first heard about it. It's a uh, documentary about Clouseau's unfinished film starring Romy Schneider. Looking forward to that one. Uh, Stormy Monday. This is the um, directorial debut by Mike Figgis. And I really like the... Uh, the newly commissioned artwork there. You know, very neo neo noirish artwork. I think this is gonna be a good one. Uh The Beast Within. I'm saving this one for October. Uh this is directed by Philippe Mora, who also directed uh, A Breed Apart. And here is another one I'm going to watch in October. The Slayer. Uh, this is the <coughs> excuse me, the suspicious death of a minor, a giallo by uh, Sergio Martino. The final of Martino's six gialli, as it says there. Now Martino was a, was a, a giallo master, for sure, and. Um, as far as I know, he only made one Spaghetti Western, Manaja, A Man Called Blade, with uh, Mauricio Merli. But, uh, yeah, looks good. And the last one is Hounds of Love, an Australian thriller uh, inspired by true events. I, I heard this movie is very disturbing. Perhaps I should watch this in, in October as well. Well, maybe I cannot wait that long. I think I'm going to watch this one of these days, though. Picked up two Spaghetti Westerns by Sergio Cabucci. Uh, uh, Navajo Joe, which is very entertaining, with uh, Bert Reynolds as the title role. Uh, you know, Reynolds himself was not happy with this movie. The story goes that he thought he was going to work with Sergio Leone, but it turns out to be the other Sergio, much to his um, disappointment. Um, I believe he said that this is one of the worst films he ever made, which is nonsense really. I mean, I think Navajo Joe is better than the movies that he had done in the last 25, 30 years. 
with a few exceptions, of course, like Boogie Nights. And uh, he's, he's currently working with um, uh, Quentin Tarantino on his new film called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And then, of course, you have uh, The Mercenary, which is one of my all-time favorite spaghetti westerns. And it also has one of my all-time favorite Ennio Morricone scores. This is a, this is a great film. Absolutely great film. And here is another western, an, an American western this time. And what a western this is. I absolutely love this film. I can't watch this film over and over again without getting tired of it. It's such a magnificent western epic. Uh, with an impressive cast, a great director, William Wilder, who made uh, Ben-Hur after this one. Um, yeah, such an amazing film, The Big Country. Definitely a, a personal favorite of mine, and um, I cannot praise this film enough. And a beautiful release by Kino, with some worthy extras, as you can see there. Okay, next is a small stack of blues I got for cheap. And the first one is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, some people say that this is better than the original. Each to his own, of course. But uh, I think the original is a masterpiece, and I cannot say that about the remake. But still, it's pretty good. And that also counts for uh, The Hills of Eyes. It will never reach the same level as the original. But this is a damn good remake. I can tell you that. Um, it is something completely different. A Fantastic Voyage. A sci-fi classic. In which a group of scientists. Are going into this spaceship. If I can call it that. And then the spaceship is being... Uh, shrunken, you know, enough to be injected inside a man's body. And if you look at the uh, special effects today, they are very dated and cheesy, but that's part of the charm. And here is a similar movie, Inner Space, by Joe Dante. Now this is um, you know, a comedy version, but also a, an homage to Fantastic Voyage. Uh, Dennis Quaid plays the scientist who becomes a tiny scientist, you know, as being he's being injected into the body of the wrong guy. Um, yeah, this is a great fun movie, absolutely great fun. I got this uh, steel book from uh, Zavi, by the way, and I also got this one from Zavi as well, uh, Short Circuit, uh, another 1980s jam. And just like Extro and uh, A Breed Apart, I haven't seen it for a long, long time. And speaking of 1980s jams, I also got Three Amigos, which is really one of my favorite comedies. I've seen it millions of times when I was a kid, and uh, I still love it today. This also comes with a, with a booklet, by the way. You can see there. Got kind of, you know, twenty fifth anniversary of um, of the movie. Next is Westworld. Now we're all familiar with the HBO television series, but it all started with this excellent nineteen seventy three science fiction movie, starring Hugh Brunner as the robot cowboy who is um, you know going out of control, and. Um, I was I was never a fan of the sequel, Future World, with um, Peter Fonda. Hugh Brennan was also in it. He had a, you know, a cameo. He appeared in a, uh, a dream sequence that didn't make any sense at all. But um, here's, a, here's a little trivia, by the way. When Arnold Schwarzenegger was preparing for The Terminator, he studied Brunner's performance in this film. So you could say that Hugh Brunner was the original Terminator. And I also got season one of the TV series Westworld, subtitled The Maze. 
Uh, this was on sale at Amazon. I got it for 17 euros, which is insanely cheap, of course, an absolute bargain. Um, I was afraid that I would get a damaged tin case. Uh, you know, I've seen other people's videos where they received it damaged, but uh, luckily, as you can see, mine is in great conditions. Oh, although there's a very tiny, tiny dent here. <laughs> I cannot complain about that, of course. It is in pretty good condition. Um, let me show you what the, uh, the inside looks like. This is a, uh, uh, you know, a 4K Blu-ray and also has the normal Blu-rays. Like here. These are the normal Blu-rays. Now, one of the uh, showrunners of Westworld is Jonathan uh, Nolan, Christopher Nolan's brother. And what he had done with this version of Westworld is tremendous. You know, I mean, he, he added so much more to Michael Crichton's original story. There's a twist in almost every episode, and um, you know, it's it's brilliantly written and ditto executed um, it's really the kind of series you want to binge watch you know you don't want to see one or two episodes a day you just want to see the whole damn thing straight you know it's um, it's really is a great first season yeah and that's it for my July update I hope you enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time, bye.